Okay, hello uh, Bobby. So uh, welcome back to this uh, discussion on electronic systems thinking. So uh, do you recognize these gadgets that have been kept here? Yeah, yeah. So you have got many precious, little bit old too, <laughs> many electronic gadgets. Of course, uh, I think in the 80s and partly in the 90s also, this was the main medium for you know uh, transistor radio. Okay. Yeah. So this is, uh, you know, if I remember right, my grandfather used to listen to cricket commentary using uh, this transistor radio, right? So yes. you just put it up, and uh, it was a common thing to sort of keep it close to your ear, right? And you could listen to commentary, right? And uh, of course, this was called a transistor radio because it was made of transistors, right? So why don't we take a look at the specifications of this transistor, right? So, um, how many transistors may be there? Yeah, so let's 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 check. Up. Let's check. Yeah, let's check it up, right? And uh, yeah, so this is the technical specification of this radio on Sony, and it says the number of transistors is eleven. Just eleven. Just eleven transistors, right? So, and uh, that was able to sort of receive the signal and of course it has other circuitry other components and uh, that was the main mode of communication of uh, distance communication in the past right now what about this one oh the landline good old memories yes right? yes <laughs> uh, this again was the only uh, mode of uh, communication or the telephone that existed Right through, right through the 80s and 90s, right? And uh, here, of course, you see what yeah. is known as a digital camera that came in about the uh, maybe 2000, early 2000s, right? So let me also go back and look at the spec of this particular camera, okay? We'll, we'll get into the details a little later, but uh, yeah. So what you see here, is you know if you go up on uh, Flipkart and look at this uh, particular camera, it says it's a 14 megapixel camera, right? So let's not worry about what it uh, uh, you know what 14 megapixels mean at this point, but it also says it has an optical zoom of 21x and a digital zoom of 4x. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. Okay, and uh, you know this one do you recognize this gadget here yeah for what, the what do you think this is uh, i have not seen this particular model but i see i used to see people recording video exactly and audio yeah right yeah, yeah. so this was again a, a handicam right what was called a handicam and it was again widely popular in the 90 uh, maybe 2000s and 2000, uh, you know 2010 onwards and this was the only way in which people could shoot like long videos, you know, parties and maybe some weddings if you had to shoot videos. This was the only way in which you could shoot, right? So let's again look at the spec of this particular camera. Okay, what does it say? It says 18x optical zoom, 360x digital zoom and um, of course it has many other features. Okay, now uh, this one here is, of course, it's I've ripped it apart, so I don't know if you can recognize it. So this is a JBL speaker, yeah, yeah right? Yeah, and uh, you know people were used to listen to music, and in the gym, you know, people you would see this kind of a gadget quite common, correct, correct, correct. commonly, right? And uh, so what does this guy say? So this says its power output is about ten, 10 watts. watts. So I, I know what you're thinking, you know, what, so why am I giving you a lecture? Why am I taking you down the memory lane with all these gadgets here, right? So the interesting part is that I'm sure you all are aware that all these gadgets today have been compressed into this small mobile phone here. So let me ask you a question, right? So this transistor here, transistor radio, it was said to have 11 transistors. So, yeah. how many transistors do you think are there inside this mobile phone? I don't know, maybe. But this is very lightweight. <laughs> okay. So, what's your guess? 
but this guy has replaced the functions of uh, all these guys. So, maybe some lakhs, A 10 few lakhs. lakhs. Okay, mm -hmm. few lakhs of transistors. Yeah, so the uh, answer is probably this is in about tens of millions mm -hmm. of transistors, right? And uh, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to start with this meme here, right? Uh -huh. The fact is that a single mobile phone today has simply stolen the job of so many gadgets, right? Starting from the camera to the uh, audio tape, the, the telephone, the alarm clock, the uh, email, calculator, calendar, radio, and so on, right? So, how how on earth was this possible, right? So let's let's maybe have a brief discussion on that here, right? So if you look at the mobile phone. So, what are the common apps that you use? Uh, let's say if I want to book a taxi. Okay. So, you say Uber. Uber. Right. Or Ola. Ola or uh, another one, Maps. I mean, uh, Maps. So, I have the position. Sometimes we also use how many steps I walk. Okay, yeah. So your uh, the the health uh, parameters. Know, yeah, yeah, health parameters. Health parameters. Okay. And of course, uh, the scientific calculator. The calculator, right? I yeah, mean, today yeah. we have to actually mention in our exam papers that a mobile phone is not to be brought in as a calculator. You have to bring your own scientific calculator, right? So yeah. this is. So, what we see here is, you know, there are a lot of apps that have come in, right? Yeah. And primarily these can be classified under what is known as software, right? And this happens essentially because there is a microprocessor and once you have a microprocessor, you can code almost anything. You can even code a scientific computing software into a mobile phone if it makes sense, right? All it has to do is to make business sense for somebody to actually code that app in there, right? But there are a lot of other things that we showed here which actually involve addition of hardware and that is what we are interested in this particular course. So what do you think are the hardware components that have been added into this mobile phone? Maybe as a user, the first thing is uh, I hear the audio. Yeah. So there is a speaker. Yeah. And uh, we are also inputting the data. Yes. So there is a touch screen. Uh, touch screen. Yeah. Then of course it has the GPS and so on for, for, the, for the positioning, many sensors. Yeah. So there is some sensor. Okay. And uh, of course, camera. Camera, right? The, I mean, any event today hasn't happened unless you have a <laughs> selfie. Yes. Right? So therefore, you have a right? camera and this is both front and, and back. back. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Any other? Of course, you also have a microphone, right? Because yeah. that yeah. has to yeah. pick up the... Yeah. Yeah. Correct. 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 So, why don't we go ahead and look at and make a comparison of these specifications that we have, right? So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go and look at the technical specifications of an iPhone 5C. This is what I have here, right? Such a small gadget that I told you had compressed all these big bulky gadgets into a single component, right? So, if you look at this, it says, uh, let me go down to the camera, right? It says it's an 8 megapixel camera, okay? I'm going to put the number here. I'll only talk about the front camera, okay? Uh, the back camera, I'm sorry. So this is 8 megapixel. And this is uh, 14. This was 14, exactly. That's a great observation there. This is 14 megapixel, which was my standalone camera, okay? This is 
मोबाइल एंड स्टैंड अलोन ओके ओनली जस्ट दैट फंक्शन just that one function it's a 14 megapixel camera while the mobile is a little lesser right but, but it has been compressed yeah. and i'll show you in a while how small that camera is okay now let's look at the speaker right the speaker if you <coughs> sorry if you look at um, you know the uh, i don't know if it is here but typically if you search online you will find that the speaker is about 3 watts yeah. approximately 3, 3 watts right yeah. and and what was this if you remember 1.5 watts no this one this jbl uh, if you remember it was about 10 watts yes. right this was the jbl and this was the 5c okay and uh, you know then you have the touch screen you have uh, all this and what about the video camera right people again talk about the video uh, functionality right and it is here 1080p with 30 fps okay so i'm going to maybe talk about video separately here yeah this is 1080p at 30 fps okay i mean let's not get into the technical details of these numbers we just know which one is better because when you go to a mobile to you know to buy a mobile today you need to compare you need to compare yeah. and i am sure none of us actually care for <laughs> these exact details right you just know that higher the number it's probably better yeah. okay so this is 1080p at 30 fps and uh, this the other uh, canon camera right could do almost uh, of course that one is an analog camera so it would actually come out in its raw format and then it can be compressed okay. into other things so so effectively i would say again this is also comparable right now you know can i shoot all that i can with this camera with my mobile phone do you think so almost almost right but technically not because yeah. if i go into a jungle and i want to zoom into a you know a 21x zoom i can get with this uh -huh. camera the optical zoom in this is not going really? to be that high it's going to be maybe about 3x or 2x or something yeah. like that but for most our selfies correct most of the practical purposes i think exactly right yeah. so we don't need much more than that so the aim of this discussion is to sort of appreciate how the electronics was able to shrink and come down to such a form factor right so we are talking about a couple of centimeter by couple of centimeter which has just compressed all these gadgets yeah. and still right? functions almost uh, you know exactly yeah. it still functions so beautifully yeah. right so uh, yeah so what you see here right is you know i'm just opening up this mobile okay and uh, on this side is the screen okay and here is you know all the other components right so i'll i'll open this up and show you in a while but immediately what stands out is that there are about you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 about maybe 8 to 10 chips yeah. or ics yeah. that have been tightly packed in this small area yeah. right so electronic integration has actually scaled considerably in the last four decades and that has what has enabled us to shrink you know all these gadgets into such you know such a compact space okay so i'll next i will show you how you know actually this camera how the camera looks how the speaker looks and so on.